Good morning, everyone. Thank you for all being here. I'm Li Zheng Wang, and my professor is Meng Chongzhen. My research topic is the effective interface format for communicating risk information in shared decision making. First, let me introduce medical decision making model. The average life expectancy of the global population is rising. People start to value quality of health care. And a paternalistic approach with the traditional model in which the physician articulates and implements what's best for the patient has shifted to the shared decision making model that emphasizes patient central communication and respect in the process. As a result, patients are more likely than ever to understand numerical health information to participate in their own health related decision activity. However, a growing number of studies has demonstrated that many patients had difficulty in understanding risk and health-related information, especially those with low numeracy skills. Therefore, scholars suggest that visual ads to present risk can help patients to understand the risk and pros and cons of different treatment, examination, and lifestyle. Also, reduce the bias caused by narratives. We review the relevant studies on this topic. Most of the research studies the relationship between visual risk graphic on patient's response time, message interpretation, risk identification, and treatment decisions. The risk matrix arrangement and the interface usability have really been investigated. Therefore, these studies aim to compare the impact of different icon error display in risk graphic on patients, risk perception, comprehension, usability, and treatment decision. The study results are intended to summarize the practical interface format for communicating risk information in shared decision making. Here is my research method. In this study, we choose anticoagulant drug selection on non-valvular arterial fibrillation as the subject of the risk graphic. The participant assesses two, two risk scores. Chava score for estimating the risk of drug in arterial fibrillation and HAS bleeding score for estimating the risk of major bleeding with anticoagulant therapy within one year. In recent years, much literature has demonstrated that icon arrays can help people overcome misinterpretation of natural tendencies and reduce bias. What's more, icon arrays can maximize people's comprehension with poor numerical skills. It is an effective way to convert risk. Therefore, our risk graphics were chosen to be designed as an icon arrays. As for arrangement of the icon arrays, some studies found that randomly scattered icon arrays may help to convert randomness in risk estimation. However, people may be confused, causing uncertainty in risk estimation and increasing the difficulty in illustrating the magnitude of risk. Therefore, scholars suggested arranging the icon arrays in group, certainly instead of randomly scattering them. Besides, which is better, horizontal or vertical alignment? A study showed that the horizontally aligned are faster and more accurate than vertical airlines in terms of reading response time. As for the choice of icon, according to the study, among the six types of icon, block, ovals, smile or front face, head outlines, restaurant icon, Photographs. The male and female's restaurant icons were the most advantageous that could significantly enhance the viewer's memory of risk. So, we finally designed three risk graphics, including one static risk graphic and two dynamic risk graphics. Figure 1 is static display, arranging group from left to right, bottom to top. Figure 2 is dynamic static display, Stack in order from left to right. Figure 3 is dynamic randomness display, randomly scattered in the array first, 
then descend to the bottom of the chart. In addition, the risk graphic is divided into risk graphic, which is one graph, and treatment graphic, which is two graph. The design of experiment, we choose the participant were aged 20 to 85 years, excluding unconscious patient unable to view image and diagnosis with stroke. The experiment was conducted in clinic treatment room and used iPad as an equipment. Besides, we use subjective numeracy skills to test participants' numeracy ability, use low literature decision conflict skills to measure decision, and system usability skills to test the graphic usability. Here's the step of experiment. First, we invited participant to fill out the basic information as subjective numeracy skills. Second, we invite participant to look at the risk graphic and then answer three questions. Third, we invite participant to look at the treatment graphic and then answer four questions. Fourth, we ask participant recall the risk number of the risk graphic. Fifth, we invited the participant to fill out low literacy decision conflict skills. Finally, we will have a semi-structured interview. The experiment is about 30 minutes. The result of my study are as follows. We invited 30 participants aged 23 to 69 years and an average age of 50.6 years. The gender of them were 50 male and 50 females. There were 10 people in each experimental group. We collect basic demographic, including patients' education and chronic disease. Based on the participant's subjective calculation skills, the overall mean score was calculated to be 4.39. According to this result, 13 participants with low calculation ability and 17 participants with good calculation ability were analyzed. We measure participants' risk perception by using the following three variable questions. The ANOVA analyzed result show no significant difference between the risk graphic in terms of risk perception. We also measure participants' specific numerical comprehension and joint knowledge comprehension by following questions. The ANOVA analyzed result showed no significant difference between the risk graphic in terms of comprehension. We ask the participant to recall the risk number of the risk graphic that you initially viewed. We found there were no significant difference between the risk graphic in terms of risk recall. The overall usability score was 67.5, with the best usability for the dynamic static display which is higher than the dynamic randomness display and static display arrays. What's more, a high positive correlation was found between numerical ability and usability. That is, the better numerical ability, the higher usability of viewing risk graphic. In the decision section, a total of 25 participants were still hesitate to decide whether to take anticoagulant after viewing the risk graphic. Only three participants were able to make a decision directly without conflict. It shows that participants were in high decision conflict. At the end of the semi-structured interview, 18 participants expressed a preference for static display risk graphic, mainly because they could see a glance and did not need to wait for the animation to appear. Let's get into discussion. The experimental result show no significant difference in risk perception, usability, and decision making between the static and dynamic presentation of the risk array graphics. The result may be due to the insufficient sample size of the study. The participants have difficulty experiencing the risk because they were not diagnosed with atrial fibrillation. On the other hand, the dynamic state has high usability and the dynamic randomness display is more consistent with the even uncertainty, 
which can increase the viewer's perception of risk. However, the timing of the dynamic graphics also affect viewers' patience. Therefore, more people prefer to watch stake risk graphic because they can save time, and the results are precise at a glance. So the final conclusion. The usability of the three experimental risk graphic was generally low. There is still much room for improvement in the efficiency of use, especially for low calculation ability. More research is needed to evaluate the impact of different formats for communicating risk information in patients' risk perception in shared decision making. We recommend that future research. Need to consider participants themselves are in a risky situation, the overall sample size, and the dynamic risk graphic playback time. In this way, an interface format for effective communication of risk information can be gradually defined. Thank you for attention.